you may have been looking for a way to select uh, <laughs> This is gonna happen a little bit. Ah, I can't do that. Another month, another beta. Studio Pro 10.9 is out and here's what's new. Let's dive in. If you've ever used design mode in Studio Pro, you may have been looking for a way to see and select specific elements on your page. Realizing that wasn't possible, you probably switched back to structure mode. Starting today, you no longer need to switch back. I'm excited to announce that we're launching X-Ray. This is a new view for design mode that shows elements like containers, layout grids, and data views directly on the canvas. And bonus, it keeps the rest of your styling so your page looks exactly as it should. X-Ray will make it much easier to select and place widgets in design mode without the need to switch to structure mode. This is a beta release for X-Ray and we look forward to hearing your feedback so we can improve it in the coming months. To try it out on Windows, you can activate it in the Preferences by going to New Features, Page Editor, X-Ray Mode. This setting will show the X-Ray toggle button in the toolbar of the Page Editor. Good news for Mac users, X-Ray will be accessible from the toolbar by default. Try out X-Ray now and let us know what you think. Building apps that work offline is an important requirement for a lot of mobile apps. That's why we have developed the offline-first approach to building mobile apps, which is supported in native mobile apps and progressive web apps built with Mendix. For progressive web apps, we relied on WebSQL, a database technology built into most web browsers that allows us to store data similar to how a database server does it. WebSQL was deprecated and will be removed soon, which is why we're announcing its replacement. Starting with 10.9, we are replacing WebSQL with SQLite. This is a database technology that has been around for many years, which makes it reliable and future-proof. This change is seamless for your app and your users because it doesn't require any changes to the application model. And the offline database will be migrated automatically. Next to being released for Studio Pro 10.9, we're also releasing this for 10.6.6 and 9.24.18, our current MTS and LTS versions. If you are working on an offline-first progressive web app with Mendix, make sure that you update your apps to one of these versions as soon as possible. You can read more about the background of this update in the WebSQL blog that you can read at mendix.com blog. Passwords and other secrets used to connect to production services and data sources with sensitive information should never end up in version control, because this would mean you might leak these secrets with every developer. To give you more control over your security and privacy, we've added an option to specify which configuration constants should be considered private in Studio Pro. These values will be stored locally on the developer's workstation instead of being committed to version control. All right, hold on to your hats, because this one is a bit difficult to explain. It's worth it, I promise. When building applications, it is quite common to implement functionality incrementally. For example, you might start with a small domain model and extend it when necessary. This mostly works well with Mendix, but some changes can lead to tedious work. When you change the data source on a page, for example, all the widgets using it need to be updated. This happens even if the new entity shares some of the attributes of the old one. With this release, we are changing that. If you change a data source from one entity to another, we preserve the connection to widgets if a compatible attribute is found. Here's an example. Let's say you define two entities, old entity and new entity. If you change a data source from old entity to new entity, widget connections to the compatible attributes, name and amount, will be preserved. Only the incompatible attribute, old attribute, will show an error. We hope you enjoyed this time saver. On March 1st, we celebrated the launch of meetups in Dubai. 50 people from 14 companies and seven countries came together to share food, socialize, share knowledge, and learn new things. To continue this trend, this April, we're launching another meetup location, this time in Stockholm, kicking off our Nordics meetup community. Join us on April 18th at the Capgemini office to meet other Mendix professionals. But that's not all. On April 24th, we're hosting a meetup about how Mendix manages a multi-app landscape at scale, presented by our own community and collaboration unit in the Rotterdam office. On April 25th, Mendix is participating in an app development conference called the April Festival. We are organizing an afternoon in our office for app developers who are new to Mendix. 
We'll be doing an intro to Mendix and a hands-on workshop where participants can build their first Mendix app. And this is where we need your help. This is your chance to tell your friends or other people you can't stop talking about Mendix to to get into Mendix. They can sign up at aprilfestival.com and join us in the Rotterdam office on April 25th. And that's it for this video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.9 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all of these new features right now. If you like these videos and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to get all the notifications. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.